Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be starting here very soon, less than a minute. Get nice and cozy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the official Rockfish Games stream. I am your host, Eric, your community ambassador. I am joined on the line with Gary, your community manager. Say hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. Perfect. <laughs> like usual. Today, we have a showcase for you of a little bit more teasers for this upcoming update. Last week, we ended up finding uh, this thing right here, this Blight Blightmonger hazard plating. We're hoping to find a little bit more out of this set. And maybe another one if we're lucky um and uh yeah as they show up we're going to be sharing what they are what they're doing why we're adding them to the game maybe a little bit of that um i love talking about the little dev tidbits here and there so if you are joining the stream just to hear like what rockfish's thoughts are this is the right place to do so it's going to be a lot of fun otherwise this is also a great place to ask questions so if you are new ask Ask the questions, use the chat. We're gonna consolidate any that you bring forward. And then at certain parts of the stream, we're just gonna rapid fire them, take care of it, uh, wrap it in a nice neat, uh, neat little bow, just send it along. It's gonna be it's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be wonderful. So I also wanna uh, do this other quick little announcement tidbit here. So I know that last week we just got into the Kite Nebula, we found the hazard plating. Um, and today's stream is gonna be kind of similar to it what happened last week, okay? So anybody who was here last week, just know that moving into today, very similar, okay? That said, I have had some discussions to where we are planning to have a more um, solidified showcase of new content that we're working on because there's been so much. There's been so much. I Sometimes I forget that this is actually all just free content because it's we're we're kind of going we're kind of going crazy with this. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, be excited. I think there's going to be a lot of fun stuff to uh, share. Uh, maybe as early as next week. We'll we'll see. I'm going to be hopeful, but um, you know we'll let you know whenever that's going to occur. I'm sure you'll hear some sort of announcement about it. Um, but it's going to be sooner than later because I mean the fall is right around the corner, and considering it's called the free fall content update. I'm gonna guess and say that we're kind of getting sort of close. Just just a random guess. I certainly don't know anything else. So, uh, yeah, now all of those sort of logistics out of the way, we're gonna get into our gameplay. We are playing on Nightmare Difficulty. This is a mode that is unlocked after you beat the story, but then when I started, I just wiped my save file. Started a completely new game. We've been playing through that. We're in the mid game at level 17, flying our good old scout with no consumables. Goodness, I need to adjust this a little bit. How dare I? And hoping for the best with <laughs> what we got. Um, we're gonna just use the Weber mines. That might help us out in a pinch, honestly, considering what we're about to go up against. Um, and just kind of look over some of these little details. Um, from last week, there's also some adjustments to, say, logos. So in the background of this Rogue set, you can see there's an insignia now. Um, same thing with the Blightmonger set, which we might as well just equip this because our other armor kind of sucks. Um, and there's also this little insignia in the lower left corner for any set item. That is a set item indicator. That's what that is. You can see it reading like where it says Blightmonger set on the item description to the left of it. There's those four little squares. Anytime you see that, that's indicating this is a set item. So uh, yeah, you can quickly distinguish that out of the mix uh, down here. Like all these items, not sets, but then you get here, the Rogue Rattler, it's got that little indicator. Just little updates, little tweaks like that along the way. <clears throat> You'll probably continue to see even more of those as we go. Uh, hmm, let's see, do we have... I really like this for the increased device range. The ship range, 
kind of sucks since we're flying a scout and we actually need range uh, really badly, honestly. Um, hmm, I'm going to think on that a little bit. All right, we'll lose our device range a little bit, but we're gonna we're gonna go with these sensors that are gonna let us see, which is important. Otherwise, there's a lot of perks that we still haven't purchased yet. Um, we'll probably get to some of that uh, through this gameplay sequence. So let's get into the gameplay sequence. We are here trying to um, activate this ancient structure thing. Or wait, did we already activate the ancient structure thing? Shoot, I can't remember now. I think we did. I think we bested the Ancient. And now we have to best various Redeemers that are quite a bit healthier than us in this territory. Thankfully, we got some range. Now we just need some uh, accuracy. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, great. Honestly, kind of, kind of good, because they're fighting each other. Maybe this is exactly what we needed. Woo! Four elites, though. Uh, I'm not sure if I should uh, be doing this, but I'm going to anyway. Maybe we'll get some nice level 16 uh, drops and maybe some level 20 drops, too. Redeemer is going to be trouble for those elite, uh, for the GMB. That's for sure. So we'll just kind of chip these guys down continually. Oh, oh, hello there. Guess he doesn't like that I'm shooting him from afar. So fun fact, the reason why those shots came out like that is because these squad fighters are actually armed with turrets on their ship. So they don't only fire at the target that they're locked onto. Those turrets will actually fire at any enemy that's nearby if there's multiples in a certain range. So because we were kind of in the proper range, even though they were fighting the Redeemer Disciple, their turrets also decided, oh, hey, there's this guy over here. I can't fire at the Redeemer Disciple, so I'm gonna fire at that other guy over here. This is also why if you ever get um, like fully invested in a combat sequence with one of these guys, it can feel like they're hitting you exceptionally hard. It's not because they're shooting one weapon at you, it's actually because they're firing several. We are awfully close now, losing a lot of our bonuses. Now, I think it's in my best interest to help the GMB out now and tackle this uh, Redeemer Disciple next. Woo! The shield's down. Okay, good. All right. So charge up my gun. Get a good shot on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Last guy left. All right. Now there is a bunch of loot over there. You might be thinking, what? why aren't they dropping anything? Yeah, those green things floating, that's loot. We're just not in range. Not in range to see it. Not yet anyway, but we'll go pick it up after we crush this guy. All right, got him, that's right. Very, very good, very, very good. So as we're opening up into this game space, hoping to find some new stuff drop, I also wanna know how you guys have been doing. I know that we have a lot of users who come back to the streams. If you are one of our uh, standard followers and you're joining us once again, just, you know, let us know how you're doing. Even if you're completely new, let us know how you're doing. I would love to know how your week's been. It's actually kind of been a little bit crazy uh, over here at Rockfish. And by crazy, not like anything like harsh or bad. Uh, just like we're making a lot of progress. So there's a lot of focus over here um, and pretty happy with how everything's coming along on the front of our content update. There's even discussions circulating around our premium DLC, uh, starting that sort of process to 
But of course, we do want the free content to come first. So, a lot of progress on that front. It's been feeling pretty good. Um, oh yeah, we need to we need to find the things. We need to find the things and do the stuffs. But welcome, welcome, everybody sneaking on in. I recall correctly, and I might not be, there's an entrance into this structure. Just trying to remember where it's at. My Everspace One senses are tingling, which is why I went up to the top there. But, uh, pretty sure that there is an opening somewhere. Maybe I'm crazy. Yep, yeah, that's not an opening. Oh! Of course, it's the one in front of the giant glowing crystal that we had activated on our last uh, activation thing. Neat. All right, here we are. Ancient jar, ancient rune. Another ancient rune. Beautiful. What do we have in here? Insidium, solar particles, dark energy. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and take this outside. Plug it into at least that one spot we found down below. Mm. More enemies warped in. A little nervous about that. All right, we have a Z. We have two Zs. All right, let's have the Zs face each other. Let's see what happens if we do that. Wonderful. Solar particles and dark energy. That's a lot of redeemers. I really want to get to level 18 and maybe this is our chance to do so, but... Hmm. Let's do some more exploring elsewhere. See if we can find a few lower level folks take out a bit faster. That might be the best solution here. All right, let's look around. Um, these, this could be a higher area. Oh, yes. Let's go for this. This is probably gonna be painful, but it'll be entertaining, so that'll be good. Do the quest and you'll get XP. Yeah, actually, I should do that. <clears throat> I am seeing a couple of, like, little suggestions and whatnot in the chat, too. Um, as a reminder, like, I mean, let's be clear. We love suggestions. I mean, even, even though the game is complete, and we are adding more stuff because we can. Um, those suggestions could potentially go towards maybe the premium DLC. Um, I would not expect any sort of suggestions that you're mentioning right now though to be like just added in for freebies unless it's just like a quality of life sort of, you know, element like that. And please, please, please put those suggestions somewhere where we can catalog them more easily, which is mainly gonna be the Steam forums, but if you don't use Steam because you're a console player, uh, you can absolutely use the Discord as well. We have dedicated channels for those console spaces, and we may even have something a little bit fresh and new for the Discord sooner than later to help catalog those sort of suggestions as well as bug reports here pretty that soon. Is the vessel containing the father Bernard. I detect only one life sign. The vessel is being bombarded with an unknown dark energy. This, I presume, is how the cult gains a hold over their new additions. Oh, that's a crusader. Shoot, I was hoping that was a drone. Trying to one-shot the drones away. Ah! Ah! Yep. Okay, Doomer. Some of the dialogue. We had a little too much fun. All right. Oh! Yeah, this is much better though. Going up against the same level foes also means we're going to be able to have some loot drops that are going to be applicable to ourselves too. 
So if we get something like, I, I don't know, say a new set item or something with a new item attribute, I can show it off immediately instead of stare at it and be like, Sag. Woof. Destabilizer missiles, those could actually come in useful. Um, where'd those go? Right there. I do like the effect duration being almost three-fourths of a second longer. We're gonna go ahead and replace that. Don't see any new set items. Not yet. We'll keep hunting them down. Ah, oh my goodness. I'm seeing just like a, a pleasant little question actually just looked over and saw, we always ask for the state of the game, but I want to know, want to ask, how are you? How's the team? Can't make a quality game if the developers aren't a quality health. Hope all is well. That's a great, that's a great question. Um, I will not deny that I've got some personal elements that are uh, going on right now in my life that are a little bit more challenging than not. But you know, we all come together at Rockfish where we put a lot of emphasis on family actually. Um, we have a pretty strong family first mentality. So if there's ever something going on in our personal lives, we do prioritize that because health is insanely important for us to be able to, you know, be. So uh, yeah. So anybody who didn't know that about Rockfish, now you do, that's the type of company that we are. So yeah, overall, yeah, though, we're, the company is doing quite well. Nothing has exploded or, you know, burst into fire. So that's always a plus. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Gary, did you want to answer that question too? Like, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Uh, I think we had a nice uh, trip and meet up with everybody in uh, in Hamburg recently. You get to meet people face to face again. It's always good. So, yeah, that's true. Tip yeah, top. That, that was really nice. Tip top. Oh, that's a good good way to describe it. Oh, so good. Uh, there we go. Charge compensator. You know, I'll take it. It's not what I wanted. All right, let's keep uh, destroying more of these crystals. Bloop. Bloop. There we go. I'm not going to lie. That last one looked like it was on target. You know, I'm going to question some things. Uh, it does look like we're getting a little stuttering. If it gets real bad, you guys just let me know and I'll swap over to 30 frames. Okay, good. Ugh, being a little gimmicky with this weapon, but sometimes that's just the way to be. To maximize an advantage. So we're going to keep doing it. Shields down first. Come on. Got it. Charge. Kablooey. Breaker missiles. Okay. Well, still nothing crazy, but armor breaker missiles might come in handy. Hmm. I'm gonna plug those in instead of the Weber drones. We're gonna try to utilize those. Otherwise, I believe our mission is now taking us back. Yep, to the Ryan Gate. And I don't want to fight this Inquisitor. Because, remember that last time when the loot drop was horrendous? Yeah, turns out that there actually is a problem with the loot drops with the Inquisitors. I don't know if it's been fixed or not. So I'm not gonna go through that trouble uh, until it's fixed. <laughs> Yay, dove builds, woo. Just looked over and saw a, a uh, comment about uh, a 
equivalent battle knife kinetic weapon equivalent. So like the railgun's long range, and then we have something that's like close range. You know, a long, 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 long time ago, I actually wanted to see some type of like, it's, it's, it probably wasn't a good idea, guys. It was a little out there. Kind of like putting a sword on your ship. And so like you go in and you like melee with your ship. Needless to say, the idea did not catch on. Uh, <laughs> we wanted to go with a little bit more um, gusto in the um, shooter side of our uh, space shooter. So yeah, there's that. But ramming got a little bit of a buff, right? So there's that. It's kind of like a melee attack, if you think about it. But yeah, not, not likely to see um, <clears throat> ship swords anytime soon. Just gonna... <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Forgot how many enemies show up here, but we can do this. We got this. Well, hand over the scientist Bernard, and we'll end this here, okay? Oh, a little closer than I thought he was going to be. Nut bags. All right. Ah, we do have an Inquisitor here that we're gonna have to deal with. That's fine. That's fine. We got some. We got some nice tools now. Our secondaries will be consumed here. I am liking the range that we're at because we just have a one, two. Uh oh. There we go. Got the shields. Ah, I wasn't fully charged. No. That's nice to see, though. Oh, goodness. That is really nice to see. All right, you're coming with me, mate. Awesome. Grab these credits. Destroy these targets. Oh, yeah. That's... That's nice. Any more energies? Uh, at least light ships are really super duper maneuverable. Not that any of you guys out there would know because nobody flies light ships. Sick burn! Oh my gosh! No, seriously, we actually were just having a chat in the Discord um, <laughs> uh, earlier today about how like the most used ships uh, in like the entire game happen to be heavies. None of you guys fly light ships. What's up with that? crazy. Light ships need love too. What do you mean? I'm scout all the way? That's good to hear sniper NLN true to your name. But yeah, it's pretty crazy though. Honestly, like doing the comparison of the, the data that we have and even just like the streams that we watch or the screenshots that are shared, uh, light ships don't actually get that much love. They don't actually get that much love. Shield down yet? Shield down yet? Can't tell? Yes, okay. Let's do a thing. Maybe, Eric, maybe it could be that people have seen you fly light ships and die 19 times that are thinking, I better stick to the heavy ships. <laughs> they pro yeah, they probably jump into the scout, <laughs> they fly into a minefield, and they just <laughs> explode immediately. Okay, that's probably, that's probably <laughs> more accurate. I will say this though, like my favorite light fighter is honestly not the scout. I do like the scout, but uh, from a gameplay standpoint, I like the more crunchy in your face experience. And the scout, you know, with its range is nice. Again, don't get me wrong. But being able to get just like absolutely nasty like flying behind your opponent with the vanguard or just aggressing with a third hard point with the stinger like i really enjoy those play styles really enjoy what that brings to the table that's kind of where i like to to fly with my light ships but you know scout still deserves love 
Oh, I forgot about this. Uh -huh. Ow. Ah, oh, okay, ow. Maybe I should have taken that comment a little bit more seriously. Woo! Alright. What's also nice about the light ships is that they have this very wonderful maneuverability. <laughs> so you get hit less often. <clears throat> let me let me demonstrate in a second or two later. Uh, that, Cause I definitely we'll let that one out. We'll let it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, just uh, <laughs> edit it in post. <laughs> Woo! I think for this particular combat, I'm gonna swap this out. Uh, where's my fusion hook? I'm gonna start upgrading it just a little bit. So I want a little bit more maneuverability, and I think this is gonna be just the trick. Yeah, look at that range. Much better. I very much prefer it when they can't shoot me, but I can shoot them, that's for sure. Those mines. That was. <laughs> Woo! Does not help that our armor is completely gone. Ah! He got really close to me. I think he likes me. go. Almost. Ah, oh, we were just out of range. <laughs> so close. There we go. Print. Okay, we'll take it. Cloak field generator. Good, good. We need to clear something out. We'll just get rid of this pulse laser. Not a big deal. Uh, get, please. Wait, did I see a new set item? No, that was a rattler. Unfortunate. All right. Okay. Oh, whoops. I thought I just swapped. I swapped missiles. Hang on a second. Put those back. Fair to hand him over. Bumped a button. Imogen. Silly me. I've I'm going to pick up this scrap metal, complete this mission. I think right now we're actually in a good spot to start answering some questions that have built up. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. What do we got? We've got a couple lined up. Uh, first off, from Spook Knight over on Twitch. Okay. Um, with the new sets bringing in new manufacturers and emblem art, might we see those emblems as decals in the ship customization? I'm uh, going to be completely honest with you. Not really in the plans. It's definitely something that could probably be done, but we quite like the current position of where the uh, iconography lies with the ship. So, yeah. It might show up in the future, I suppose. But there's no plans to do that. No plans to do that. Oh, cool. Um, Sniper NLN over on Twitch is just wondering what passives are on your ship. Oh, yeah, sure. My passives. 
we have close call, namely to stay in the battle, uh, cause it's not fun watching me reload saves constantly. <laughs> we are also using the play it safe. So this one allows me to gain reactive armor when I'm using warfare devices, which I actually need to uh, <clears throat> stay on top of. I've only got one. Warfare devices are the magenta ones. Uh, so maybe we should swap some of these out or just change that perk. But then we also using crit happens, which I saw this happen like twice so far where I was doing long range shot and there was like two redeemers nearby each other. I got a crit and it hit both the main enemy as well as the secondary enemy. So not as useful, honestly, in this particular build. So I should probably change both of those. Should honestly probably change both of those. So. Um, just, just for clarification, could you just show your passive, not the perks? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I thought it was perks. My passives can't be detected by mines during Shadow Strike. Gain five seconds of invincibility after Shadow Strike ends, which you guys have actively seen, and 20% increased cloaking duration. And just because it's on there, I do want to uh, point out that any source of cloaking is adjusted by that 20% increased cloaking duration. So even if you had like the consumable that allows you to cloak, that would apply to it. It's not only your ultimate Shadow Strike. So, yep. Uh, let's see, is this mission... Yeah, we took care of that, so it's done. Okay. Yeah, I've got another question yeah, for you, and one's just coming in as well. Cool. Uh, now, it is a Friday, so this one might be a bit of a challenge for a <laughs> Friday brain. Um, so it's from ExoMaths over on Twitch. Um, how is collision damage calculated? Does it depend on the speed or mass of the player ship? Also, how does using the boost device affect that collision damage? So to my understanding, the boost damage is calculated from two major results. The first one is not actually mass, it is simply speed, simply speed. And the second is the difficulty you're playing at. Higher difficulties increase collision damage. Lower difficulties decrease collision damage. Those are the calculations. So if you can get moving really, really fast, or conversely, if you move an opponent really, really fast, say with like magnetic uh, repulsion, um, however fast they are moving is going to determine how much collision damage they have. I also believe that there is a cap on how much it is increased by. So for example, if you were somehow able to make a ship go flinging in insane speed, just like, I, I don't know, like either through like a gimmick or exploit or whatever, and you chuck a vessel just at light speed into a rock, it wouldn't actually just immediately explode. Um, I think it would actually be hard capped at a, at a certain point. Now, all of these things that I'm saying, this is from conversations that I've had prior. It is very, very possible that some of what I just mentioned is slightly inaccurate. So I encourage you to follow up with that just by like posting that same question up on the Discord and I'll follow up with the authentic super detailed response probably from Hans Christian I think is going to know that one maybe and uh, give you and divulge in all of those beautiful details um actually I want to do one other thing because I might be able to look this up one other thing uh Thanks for your patience. I, I have a couple of details that I can kind of like dig into. This might be one of them. I'm just, uh, I'm not 100% sure. So uh, one moment while I'm seeking a response here. But it does not look like I'm finding what I was hoping for. Unfortunate. Bah. So yeah, I'll follow up uh, if you ask that same question in the Discord so that we can... Uh, Get you all satisfied in a 100% accurate response. Ooh, nice question. All right, next one, please. Um, Straw Hat Avenger on Twitch would like to know, uh, will the upcoming fall update have any new ship models for all tiers? That's a good question. 
there's been a lot of discussion as to um, how we're gonna distribute new ship parts, if you will. I believe in a previous stream, I said that we were working on like the tier four variants, right? Because we wanted to have every single ship wing type in the game as of right now also have a tier four variant. I am hopeful that this will be distributed by the end of this year, but I can't guarantee it will be. It is not something that we want to bar access to behind a paywall, however. This is something that we do want to just provide. So, um, yeah, hopeful, hopeful that it'll be by the end of this year. But um, if anything changes on that front, new information comes out, I'll let you know. We'll let you know. But that's the hope. One more oh, question? Right. Yep, yep. Uh, we keep rolling in as soon as we start talking about the questions, they all start firing the questions in. <laughs> right, uh, still on Twitch, we have a question from I Am The Law 42. Uh, okay. Regarding a potential legendary, bit of a suggestion, uh, and I don't think we've ever talked about this, but are there any plans to add a railgun legendary, like a sniper rifle that we seemingly had from Everspace 1? So, I mean, I can't get into all the details of like all of the different set variants um, that are coming to the table, as well as new legendaries that are kind of in a concept phase, if you will. Um, like we would love to add, like say at least one type of legendary for every type of thing in the game, right? That's something that we would very much like to accomplish. We will give you more information on what that looks like and how that's going to be presented into the game when we have more information to share on that matter. It's something that I think expectations are going to be a little bit crazy on. I mean, we want to make more legendaries. How many more are going to show up is... That's a tricky one. That's a tricky one. So we're, we're going to have to wait it out together, unfortunately. Kind of a, a sucky answer to give, but um, we'll see. We'll see. But do know, sincerely, like, if we could, we would love there to be at least one legendary of every single type of item. That includes every type of weapon, every type of secondary, every type of module, every type of, uh, I suppose, maybe a legendary consumable? Would that? I don't even know if that's on the table. That could be kind of interesting. But, um, yeah. One legendary of, of every single, like, equipable item. That's what we would desire, at least. So... Yeah. Next question, please. Uh, last one, really, and it's kind of already been answered, but okay. from Pesky Husker, or a Pesky Husky, rather, over on YouTube. I was just wondering if we could talk about anything uh, excluding the DLC stuff. Um, oh, I've yeah, sure. pretty much said that most of our information uh, is over on our Discord within the Everspace 2 FAQ, because that's where we'll update mm -hmm. anything we can kind of reveal or on the stream. Uh, yeah, we can't really do too much extras at this time, but um, at the opening of the stream, I did mention that we're having some pretty good conversations to coordinate with our marketing department in order to present more content sooner than you may think. I'm hopeful, I'm really hopeful that next week, next stream, we're going to be able to have a little showcase for you, for example. Um, but if not next week, it's going to be something fairly soon. That way you guys are going to have a really solid understanding of what we mean by those various words on the Discord. And for those of you who are not familiar with the words on the Discord, I am referring to the Everspace 2 Frequently Asked Questions channel that's over there. Um, and basically what it says under our roadmap is that we have October 3rd as a specifically listed date for Mac OS release, retail release, uh, the original soundtrack and the digital art book release. All of these things were previously stated, um, as well as the fall free content update, uh, which has an unspecified month, but it will be in the fall, of course. We've already shared with you guys that we would like to add more ship wing variations. We want to add more ship passives. We want to add more set items, which of course we've been showing you those, so you know those are coming. Uh, more item attributes, also you guys have been seeing in the streams. Quick load, quick save feature, which I've also shown during the streams, uh, as well as some varied community feature requests. But that's not all. There's gonna be some more beyond just that. Again, all of this information does come from the Everspace 2 Frequently Asked Questions on the Discord. 
Uh, we're also planning on kind of getting that information out there, that sort of um, perspective roadmap uh, across the board for people to see from not just the Discord, but from other locations as well. Uh, roadmaps are not something that we can uh, pump out very easily. There's a lot of moving parts behind the scenes and I uh, really do appreciate your guys' patience as we are working on the distribution of information um, just as much as you guys are looking to digest it. It's a tricky, tricky thing to balance. Uh, was that the last question for the moment? Um, one's just coming from Slurine, oh. actually. Okay. Um, one, more. one more. Yeah, it's the last one we've got tied up uh, tied in, uh, over on YouTube. Anyway, uh, will what we get from dismantling legendaries change it at all? It possibly will. Um, there's That's one of those elements that there's factors surrounding it, like, is this a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Um, if so, what can we do with it? Like, is this answering... Uh, challenges that players are facing is this fixing issues that we have. Uh, we have a mentality where if we're going to add something, it needs to have purpose for why it's being added. We're not going to just do it because we can. Um, so lots of questions surrounding that. Um, it might not even become a thing. Who knows? We will let you know when we have more information to share on that ourselves. So. Also, welcome Michael, who's having some dinner. I hope that your beautiful bike ride and this beautiful weather, at least in Hamburg, uh, went really well. <clears throat> Much like I was mentioning earlier in the stream, guys, where Rockfish does put a lot of emphasis and support on family matters. We also put a lot of emphasis and support on personal health. And I think Michael is a really sound example of this. He's always doing something, whether he's playing squash or riding his bike. Uh, he, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome stuff. And a lot of our team members are actually fairly active with varying um, things that we do. I play a lot of tennis. So, well, I shouldn't say a lot, but I, I play tennis. <laughs> it's like once a week. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Happy body is a happy mind. All right, so we're gonna try and keep pushing through. I love how much experience gains we've got going so far. We've almost grown a complete level. Oh, sweet, we got a repair bay. I know that one's familiar to those of you who have um, seen the autonomous set, but that could be useful, especially in a conversation at the very least for those who may have never seen it before. I got him. Mm, charge up, please. No! Ah! All right. You know what? Let's just... Oh, whoops. For, for some reason, I thought that I had a magnetic repulsor. Let's actually change this back. Beautiful. So long as your um, devices aren't on cooldown, you can actually swap them in and out during combat fairly easily if you don't die. Jeez. Guess I should have checked that he was level 19. Easy there, Maddox. All right. Oh my gosh, I look over at the chat hearing about some of the ways that we operate as a team. And I read Steiny Goat on, on Twitch, on Twitter, he says, The only crunch I would accept from RFG is the sound the freshly baked goods make as you eat them. I concur. That's great. We really don't crunch. We, we, we really don't. We, we have a no crunch mentality. Uh, something that I actually love about like all of my coworkers is that it's a little bit stereotypical German efficiency, uh, but man, we work hard, but then we play hard. It's like when we clock out for the day, we ain't doing nothing except for taking care of ourselves and having a blast with our lives. Uh, it's it's the way that we feel like it needs to be operated and uh, it comes together pretty well. It comes together pretty, pretty well. Now, some of them are workaholics. Sometimes I can be a workaholic, but uh, you know. 
Kind of depends on the subject matter too at the time. <laughs> I'm sure this is fine. Ah, this is fine. Ah, that's fine. Adam should really stop smoking. That's... that's... Bad habit. Alright, so we need to get to this power core socket. That ship looks like it's made of aluminium. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, you missed your comment last week. No, I did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's right. I was I was waiting for it all week. I think everybody was. You never said a word. No, I was giving you a week off. Just to throw you off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, for those who were wondering why I used this debris to block that, um, that's because, and I can't show you now, but these are unstable power cores. So if you were just to pop this out, it would explode right here, and that may have even killed me with how little health that I have in this... Uh, Aluminium vessel. Our hole. Yay! Is, our, our hole is a very measly. Uh, oh, my mouse is in the way. Four thousand nine hundred and eight. A level eighteen. Um, even if you are still using the standard Sentinel, that's something to just like giggle at. It's just real bad. I'm gonna try and charge this. Oh, there we go. Now, hopefully, we don't die. Good, good. Not dying is pretty important. Oh, where am I going? I have to do this first. Doing everything out of order. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Michael asks a really good question. Um, uh, he says, just wondering, anyone noticed that we revised quite a few music tracks? This is something we also did kind of mention a little bit, I think last week's stream. But um, since we're working on the soundtrack, one of the things that we wanted to do is just kind of like better the music as a whole, right? And as we were doing that, it was like, oh, you know what? We've revised this in such a pleasant way for the soundtrack. We might as well revise it for in-game too. And uh, in some cases, it comes together really, really well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Keep your eyes peeled. No, keep your ears. Why would your eyes? <laughs> keep your ears open. Keep your ears open. That's what we're trying to say. Wow. I think that the Friday stream is catching up to me suddenly. <laughs> oh While we're actually on this mission, um, this is one of those that we can affect with the difficulty setting, just for those that want the uh, oh, accessibility. Yeah. That's a really good point. Thank you for bringing that up. Really good point. Yeah, if I recall correctly, I think that the, um, the drone actually has less health at um, lower, or has less health at higher difficulty. Sneak in through here, try not to explode. Yay! No explosions are good. All right. Oh, now we need the energy sphere socket. That's right. Um, but we need to open up the door first to get there. Delightful! Keep your oranges peeled. I love it. All right. Um, I'm going to do a quick save here. A little stuttering was that, just to make sure I don't accidentally, you know, do something ridiculous. Oh, I need to go get the energy spray. All right. All right. Here we are. And we're gonna need to charge it up because the energy flow isn't gonna allow us to get there in time. So we have to get kind of close to this time distortion. Charges it up just like that. The number at the very top, the number goes back up to 20. You can also charge it up from those little sites, but I think you are guaranteed to take damage, so I don't want to do that. Boom, bada bing, bam, boom. Got him. All right. Excellent. Secure container. Boop. Spatial bypass. Gauss cannon and EMP missiles. Actually, EMP 
seems like a better plan than... Here, let's just scrap this thing, because you're damaged anyway. I don't like you. Uh, Goss Cannon. If we are flying anything other than a scout, I would probably use this. Oh, goodness. Uh, what are its bonuses? 1% chance with each hit to deal corrosion damage? Oh my gosh, that's amazing on the Goss! That's such a good... Oh. After 10 non-critical hits, the chance of critical hits is increased by 20%. That's also a really good one! And a 1% chance to disable the target shield. The DPS on this one, that is such a good roll for a Goss Cannon. Holy crap! Corrosion damage, disable shield, and then increased crits. Every 10, basically every 10 shots, it just keeps going. Wow, I think I have to use this. I'm not allowed to not use this. That's a, those are some great modifiers. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this against our better judgment, probably. We're also gonna dismantle one of these and uh, oh get that. Something. Oh, whoops. I would love to go grab this valuable shipwreck, however, I don't think we're in a good position to do so. So I'm going to grab this container, then we're going to talk to Marie DeVent here, who just warped in. Uh, Peacemaker, we'll take that, and Nebula Signal Decoder. Just scrap another one of those cargo units. This will be nice to sell our goods. I look over at chat and I see Gotham Gun. You, oh my gosh. <laughs> Beautiful. Get a scout with a range passive for that gun. Yeah, that would be really nice. I mean, technically the scout has a, a natural bonus to range because of its expertise. Right there. Um, our expertise is, eh, it's actually, it's technically under average from the, for the level that we're at. That kind of sucks actually, but almost 30% bonus range is not too shabby. Not too shabby. Need a spread passive for scout, a minus spread passive for scout. Yeah, that could be even more useful. You know, that's true. Because the Goss Cannon, of course, you use it pretty close up. That's the one reason why I thought, eh, maybe I shouldn't use this, but screw it. It'll be fine. Right? Right? Uh, let's see what's at the shop here. Uh, speed words. I don't see any set logos, so we, can't, we know that there's not any of those. We're gonna sell a healthy bit of goods here. Um, we're gonna hang on to the seeds. Well, seeds don't really sell that much. Oh, no, they... Oh, that's nanofibers. Excuse me. Where are the seeds at? Seeds don't sell much regardless, so I'm just gonna sell them. Um, we're also gonna sell a lot of the stuff that... You know, this Rattler... I would really, really like to find its pairing. Maybe we'll go back to Zarkov to try and pick that up. <clears throat> also going to sell this. Sell that. Coil guns are actually pretty good for um, scouts, but... Autonomous repair bay. Repair a damaged item every 90 seconds. I think we're gonna... We, I think this is just straight better. I mean, minus one cargo slot, but I don't, I don't really care about that. It does have structure instead of firepower. Arguably useless, but we are gonna... Actually, wait, can I, um... I feel like I need you guys to look away. I can't touch the modify button here. Ooh. Oh, what's that? What's that? There's something... Something about what I would like to do in order to equip this that I can't show on stream. Yeah, unfortunately, <clears throat> I guess I'll just... We're just gonna have to ignore that one. We'll just have to wait to level up to 19. It's, it's kind of the way that it goes. And, uh, Oh well, that's that's fine. 
Let's see, let's get rid of some of this other stuff just to make some credits. High velocity flak, not too shabby. We might hang on to that one as well. And the prime zapper, oh my gosh, we're getting some good stuff. Getting some good stuff dropping. Uh, and that's uh, standard energy core. Beam laser as well deals 20% bonus damage against capital ships. Eh! Blueprint progress, let's make some. Homing missiles, automatic homing missiles. They're not gonna do a lot of damage extra, but. Oh, our EMPs do the same thing. Okay, yeah, we're gonna just, we're gonna sell this, sell that. I mean, that's, that's, that's wonderful. That's just straight better. Of course, it's taking away from our firepower, but we're still gonna do it. Sell this. This pulse laser has served me well, but I think it's time for it to go. All right. Um, and we're also going to sell some of these decoders um, just because I think we could use the money instead. Um, these level 18s, eh, you know what? We could probably try this one with the loot quality being minus 30%. <laughs> uh, why not? We'll see if we can do one. Uh, we'll sell these. We could have capitalized a bit more on that, but, you know, it is what it is. Then we'll hang on to... Now we'll get rid of this. That's much better. Much better. We're gonna... I think we're also gonna swap our perks around a little bit just to bring things together. I think Downtime Warrior might not be a bad thing to do here. Just because we're not, we're not utilizing play it safe. So we're gonna go with Downtime Warrior. I think we're also gonna do Excessive Force. I think we can get away with this, specifically because we'll be at range most of the time, our shields should be regenerating most of the time. So we're gonna, we're gonna hope for the best there. All right. That feels much better. Minus 30, that's some quality, I know, right? Oh gosh! Jeez! That was a, a little wild. Okay. Are they still coming at me? No. Okay, I got some space now. Yeah, I think that 30%, the excessive force, I think, is going to come in handy here. Because we're going to be able to capitalize on that a bit. Wow, that feels really good. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. That's feeling much better. That's feeling much better. Just a light little swap of passives around can really do the trick do the trick. Any other items dropped? Nope. Okay. What was that? What was... Oh, just a standard sensor. Let's get rid of it. I don't even... I don't even want it. Alright. So, let's head on over to the Rhyme Gate to keep moving this story forward. I think we're actually at a pretty good spot to answer some more questions. I'm pretty happy with how well we're progressing the story today. It's it's coming along nicely. We've got some good questions, so yeah, let's uh, let's get through yeah, a no, few more. No deaths up to now. You're doing well. You're doing yeah, I know. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Right. Uh, just as a little addendum to Slorin's uh, question earlier regarding uh, dismantling legendaries, etc. Um, oh, yeah. His follow-up was that he just he said that he found a lot of superiors that it's not worth currently uh what you get from legendaries hence why the the question was asked if we'll uh, we'll see any change with dismantling legendaries um oh yeah i mean th there's definitely a bit that we've been looking into on that front um there will yeah we, we'll have some announcements i think um that should be coming alongside the free fall update so yeah 
we'll, ha we'll have some stuff to share in the near future um, with some adjustments. So, yeah. Cool. See, oh, we had two active. We have a level 17 over here. Let's let's try to do this while answering questions. What could possibly <laughs> go wrong? <laughs> Never a problem, that. Uh, Golden Holland over on YouTube. Uh, just asking, will there be any new game modes, maybe a mode higher than Nightmare? Uh, at the moment, there isn't, there aren't any plans for any new modes. Um, at best, we might create different sort of encounters that could be had. Um, but uh, yeah, I would not expect a new game mode at all. That's not, that's never really been in the plan. Um, as far as like difficulties are concerned though, could there be something that's higher or lower uh, on our current selection? I think it's always possible that we could kind of evaluate how individuals are digesting the game and see how to make it a little bit more accessible, for example. But that's also one of those things where right now isn't uh, not really a priority. We, we really want to work on the content thereof. And the premium DLC would likely move into the direction of more of what your kind of curiosities are at, where it's going to be an expansion of probably like gameplay systems and locations and um, missions and, and stuff of that nature. So, yep. Excellent. Um, Michael's just put something into the Twitch chat. I know you're concentrating, so I'll just oh, read through it. Yeah, sure. um, uh, Michael's just confirming that we're working on a major marketing beat that goes beyond the free content update in the oh, sweet. Nice. Lots of more information. That is super duper. I'm assuming that uh, that's soon TM, Michael. Is that. Uh... <laughs> Next up, actually, it's a good question from uh, Wizard Jerry over okay. on YouTube. Um, and it, I'm actually uh, thinking about it is what or how does the stick it turret DPS or what does it relate to? How is it calculated? Is it kind of worked out on a level basis? So if you're like level 19, it'd be an equivalent that way. How is it worked out? Oh, I'd have to ask somebody. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, that, that one's that one's one of those where it's like you got me. I don't know. I'll, I'll have yeah. to follow up with you. Gosh, the sticky turret. Oh my goodness. What a delightful little tool, but yeah, I don't know its inner machinations. So we'll have to love to follow up with you on that one though. That's a great question. I love that. Uh, quite a fun one here from Bearded Frog, and I know it's uh, more to do with the shenanigans that we have uh, for yourself at the end of the stream. Uh, he's just wondering what uh, your kids think of your beatboxing and do you ever do your beatboxing to entertain your children <laughs> i mean i mean they're my kids so they naturally are inclined to enjoy the things that i love uh like it's bless their hearts they enjoy really bad humor like terrible puns uh so yeah whenever i'm doing any beatboxing my, my oldest daughter uh gloria she is eight years old she'll actually dance whenever i'm <laughs> i'm beatboxing <laughs> so yeah that, but then William, he's one of my twins. He's six, almost seven. His birthday is actually coming up. Um, he uh, He's the type of kid where when I start doing anything, he's like, oh, dad. And then he just walks out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kids and their personalities are beautiful things. But, uh, let's have a... Well, I do enjoy answering some you know questions like that just because they're kind of fun. I would very much prefer if we can keep questions associated with Everspace 2. Um, if you guys don't mind, I uh, really want to put emphasis on what we're showcasing here and what we're working on. I think that's, I think that's a, probably a good call. Okay, guys, but love that question regardless. Okay, that's the last one I've got for now. Oh. We'll see if any more come in. Uh oh, we are going to swap back over to our, <laughs> actually energized boost might not be a bad option. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with fusion hook. Oh, I forgot that we picked up the front shield generator. Oh my gosh! Uh, silly me, silly me. Can we get there? Come on, come on. Closer. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. <clears throat> Honestly, taking care of these high risk areas as scout isn't too bad. I think the big thing though, and 
Also, one of the reasons why we're probably going to change our ship probably next stream is that I'm not sure if this is as engaging gameplay to showcase. I think it's a bit more fun, at least for me, even when I'm playing like for myself. I really like striker builds that are just like up in the grills of your opponents. It just, I don't know, it generally gets pumping for me a bit more. Uh, I've never really personally been a sniper player, even though I know that we have some of those uh, fans out there. So yeah, I guess I'm glad to showcase this as a possibility at the very least, but regardless, Hope you guys are all enjoying. Decent progress here. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Now, those quick kills are actually helping us out even further um, because we do have a passive benefit on this railgun. Granted, it's not the best for a railgun. But um, every time we kill an enemy, we temporarily increase the weapon's damage by 1% up to 25% for eight seconds. I know that might seem a little underwhelming uh, because with the rapid railgun it is. Uh, it, it, it's just a slow firing weapon. But if you had this on something like say this Goss, you could ramp up that extra damage rather easily. So uh, yeah. So fast shooting those drones gave us, I know it sounds kind of silly, but 3% more increased damage. And you know, we'll take what we can get. Oh. Mm. Wow, look at all those Crusaders. Ugh. Yuck, no thank you. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. More, oh my gosh, there's six Crusaders. <laughs> what? Ah, oh. it's a little, uh, little discouraging. We're gonna keep going for the drones, pick them off. Maybe we could just keep ignoring them and they'll go away. That's how it works, right? Ah! Ah! Uh-oh! Ah! Yep! We're out! All right. Wow, we gained some distance. Feels pretty good. Whammo. Yeah. All right. Gotta love those two shots. That feels really good. Excellent. We're getting close. <laughs> so many Crusaders though, gosh. I'm trying to save my ult. For anybody who's wondering, I'm saving my ult for the big bad boss. So I don't want him to last very long. Let's try to start focusing down one of the Crusaders. Oh, they're not too bad. Why have I been shying away from them? Oh my gosh. Silly me. Silly me. Clear drones for more crusaders. I know, right? Like every time, every time I clear like a group of enemies that aren't crusaders, more warp in, which includes more crusaders. So it just keeps stacking crusaders. <laughs> All right, what do we got? We've got, oh, we got enemies behind us. Oh, flanking maneuvers. Yikes town. Here we go. Let's try that again. Ah, of course now it goes. Unfortunate. 
wasted a bit of our ult. Ah. I'll take that. You know what? I wonder. It's probably a really bad idea to get close the gap with that Inquisitor, but I really want to use all the features of this gas cannon that it's got going on. So I might just, uh, I might just take the dive, literally. Let's see what happens after this guy goes down. There we go. Alright. Let's have some fun. the shield down. Come on. Come on. Not as effective as I was hoping it would be. Come on. Alright. It did some it's it did some pretty decent damage, but obviously we wanna try and aim for that range. Get these guys off her back. Mm. That shield is uh, definitely not pleasant. Ah! Missile's not hitting, he's moving! We got a Crusader behind us. Let's go for it again. Could it possibly go wrong? Ah, that's a lot of fire! We hit somebody behind us. Oh, that's a lot of damage! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Getting frisky! Probably doesn't help that he's regenerating his health too. Ah! 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 Yeah, this is uh, this battle of attrition is not going in our favor. No! 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 Really need that shield to come down. Oof. Ah, dang it. All right, let's try and uh, focus a little bit more situation. I really, really wish I could get some shots in with our missile. The missile's range just... It's only 2k. Makes it kind of tricky. Kind of like get in and get out. I don't like that. Not sure if this strategy is working. His health is regaining faster than we're taking it down. Ah, this punk. All right. We got to change it to a different strategy. This is not working. This is going to be interesting.
All right. Did not hit. Still haven't gotten his dang shields down. We got close. We got close. To go back to this. I mean, we actually we took out a lot of his health though, so maybe that was the maybe that was the right path. This is tricky. This is tricky. I know I was talking about how just like a moment ago it's like, oh yeah, the scout. It's it's range. You can take out. Uh, HRA is no problem. Lol. Uh, check this out. Um, also, that was a shield overheat. Ouch. Just gonna keep whittling away. Let's also, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's get some damage, extra added damage here. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and craft the missing components. Damage boost, except. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Could come in useful. We might need to do some peacemakers as well. Cloak field generator, honestly, isn't too bad. Let's do that. All right. Giving us a little bit of variety here. This is mainly to get our health back. Good, excellent. He's not protected, so I think now's the time. Actually, hang on a second. Not a well-coordinated strike at all. Ah, my turret! Thanks, Hype. Mm, nope. Hang on to it. All right, now we're out. That's good. Another good round. Okay, okay. The battle of attrition is going in my favor. Finally. Okay, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Uh oh. Ah, uh, this is not looking good because we have not a lot on, or we have a lot on cooldown. But that also does mean we have more energy regen. And if our shields go down, we can just pop this and restore our health fairly well. We gotta get them off of our backs. Okay, ouch, ouch, ouch. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah! Whew. All right. We got it. 
Ooh, I really wanted to use that rattler, but man, I, I couldn't get the right opportunity to do so. Let's collect our loot, see what we get. We got a tuned catalyst. And I'm not seeing any, any unique set. Oh my gosh. Maybe this shipwreck will have uh, another set item for us. Nope. <laughs> Unfortunate. We just have the rattler and the repair bay that we've seen today. Oof. Alright. Wow. It's, always coming handy. it's true. They do. I will absolutely take the tuned um, catalyst, though. That will be beneficial to apply to our, um, was it shields? Energy core? I think you can actually apply it to a lot of things. Otherwise, let's see. We already did the roller coaster. Let's see, our mission's gonna pair us back to pick up the pieces. We're gonna go back to Cartwright's Wake. Hmm. Oh, we have to go to a, a number of different places. Let's go destroy the outlaw stronghold um, back in Zarkov. Maybe we can find something there, perhaps. Oh, before we do, let's do the distress call. Distress call. RN Jesus was not nice to you. It happens. Random turns out to be random. It's crazy, I know. It's crazy. That was painful, says, oh my gosh. Well, I'm so sorry. I felt good about overcoming it, but. Entertainingly painful, that's better. I can deal with that. <laughs> you guys. Credits? Just, um, don't be a jerk if you get the chance. Franks. All right. Wait a second. Ah, let's take these guys out. There's not a lot of them. And maybe, if we're fortunate, they'll drop what we're looking for. a level 20. Oof. If he drops what I'm looking for and I can't use it. Ugh. Super gel. Boo. Solar particles. Quip. We're really overdue for a death counter update. I refuse to oblige. <laughs> I don't want to add to it. You think I need to change out close call? Nah, probably. Probably. I don't want y'all thinking I'm a weenie. my health back. Delicious. Yeah, let's head over to, let's go back to Zarkov. Start taking on that outlaw base. I think we have the right tools for the job. Oh, close call has saved the death counter so many times. Yeah, it kind of has. Laws. Where's the um There you are. Ah. Oh, really? Psh, surprised you survived that. There we go. 
Now, for those of you who did not make the last stream, I want to talk a little bit about the differences between systems. Because I teased this a little bit yes uh, yesterday, last week. I'm going to kind of expand on it a little bit more. I had mentioned last week that set items drop specifically from certain locations. Much like how the, uh, oh gosh. Well, there's our, there's our death save right there. Can we get out of this to survive is another question. Woo. So much like the Bloodstar items um, in the current game, they drop from um, Bloodstar units. We're actually, that's, that's something that we're actually adjusting. A lot of folks are challenged by finding Bloodstar gear, especially like Starforged gear. We've seen the numbers, it sucks. So we're changing it. So now anytime that you're in Cedo at all, Bloodstar equipment can drop. And as we were in uh, the Kite Nebula, we saw that the Blightmonger set has the ability to drop there. But I'm actually eager to find something that drops specifically from Zarkov to help round out a possible strategy. But I guess we'll find out. Oh gosh. <clears throat> if we survive, that is. Wow, that did no damage. What? Come on. The more enemies we face, the greater chance that we're going to have getting what I want to show today. Oh, that's an elite. That explains a little bit more. All right, well, let's get up close and personal anyway. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? Ugh, these raiders, man. Ow! There we go. Ah! Dang it. Okay. Let's go collect our loot over here. I did not see what I was looking for, but it happens. We're head over to that outlaw base. I'm gonna destroy some stuff. And guys, mark my words, if we do not get <clears throat> a drop that I am seeking to get, I am just going to generate it and we're gonna talk about it a little bit because I want to show at least one new thing today. And as much as I can talk on the various things that we're working on, as well as, you know, highlight this new little indicator in the lower left, woo! Which, granted, we, we like it. It's a good it's a good improvement here, making sure that set items are distinct. We, I, I really want to make sure that you guys are getting the goods. So, we're gonna dive into this undiscovered site, which is an outlaw stronghold. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna answer some questions. We might show some screenshots today. I'm not actually sure. We didn't get a lot of screenshots from last week. I can. We don't have to. Um, and then we will uh, close out the stream. This is this is not hitting. Here, we'll do, we'll do this. This is a good use of this uh, <coughs> ultimate, right? Pretty sure somebody is dying in the chat right now and it's probably bearded from. Oh gosh. Ah, it's a teleport drone. This is my death. This is my death. I don't have Ah, oh, there's the there's the thing. Oh gosh. Ah, we have like literally one health. We're gonna have to brave Sir Robin this. Well, you're gonna clip that rock then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that probably would have done it. 
Yeah, we've we've already used our close call, so everybody is aware. So now I'm just trying to get some distance so that when I decloak, those teleport drones aren't going to be able to find me, at least not immediately. Uh, now let's try and work out a solution to this mess, which I think we just need to go back to a station and, and heal. Yep, we're not quite prepared for this. Not quite prepared for this. Not as well as I would like to be. Not as well as I'd like to be. Yeah, no, I wanted I wanted to deploy the sticky drones all in one spot, so that way we can kind of like optimize their uh, attack strength, right? Um, I think I can, I, yeah, we haven't gone too far in the story to where I can't go here, I think. Um, <clears throat> look at hole. I mean, th there's like a sliver of, uh, it's, I, there, I don't think there's anything that tells me exactly how much health there is right now. I can just tell that it's probably less than five and greater than zero. Whew. Yeah, I can't cheese it again. Yeah, no, no, no. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go heal. Um, while we're doing this sort of uh, side thing going on, let's answer some more questions that have generated. Let's keep things moving. So what do we got? We've only got the one. I think everybody oh. was just intent on you dying. <laughs> oh, excellent. So glad that everyone's got the support going on there. So glad. <laughs> uh, so the question uh, is something that we've been asked before, but it's from Steiny over on Twitch. Uh, will there be perk and ship attribute loadouts? Meaning that if we set a ship to a certain combination of attributes and perks, will it stay for that ship? Yeah, we've, we've had this question come up a, a number of times, and the short of it is that we've actually looked into it before, and it is an incredibly, unfortunately, it is an incredibly complicated process in order to generate that. So um, right now with our focus being on the free content update and then a desire to work on that premium DLC, um, it's not in the plans, it's not on the table. Um, it is something that we do hear the community talking about, so please understand that your voice is being heard here. Um, I don't want this to make it sound like, oh, well, it's too hard, we can't do it. That's not what I'm trying to say here. What I'm saying is we have not prioritized this because we can't based on the number of other things that are already in our pipeline. Would we like to add this? Yeah, I think that we absolutely would as well, but that does not change the complicated uh, development elements that would be involved with such a system. So I cannot guarantee it will happen. Um, and if it does, I can't guarantee it would happen anytime soon. So that's about as thorough as a response I can answer on that front. I know it kind of sucks, but just know that's where we're at. We acknowledge it. It's complicated. It's complicated. All right, uh, next, was that the only question? That's the only one I've got up to now. You might want to switch on 30 frames per second when you're oh, at oh, oh. Uh, Vesna. Yeah, okay. you were a bit stuttery. Whoopsers. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, next question. Uh, that's all we've got. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, we are going to go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. We're going to get rid of the system recovery routines. Shield. We want to hang on to that rattler. I'm hopeful that we can find its pairing here. Oh, good! A better railgun! About friggin' time. <clears throat> Alright. Blueprints already unlocked. A peruser. Uh, nope, we need the intuitive sensors that have a greater ship range. We're gonna hang on to that. Maybe hang on to that. We're going to take that. Ah. We're finding some good stuff. This this could also be useful. I cannot be damaged. Eh, I'd take back what I said. Uh, <laughs> lots of things I want to do. Man, our cruise booster is level 13. Yikes town. Recharge booster might not be a bad... Uh, or the cruise booster might not be a bad idea to replace our recharge booster. Um, the acceleration is awfully nice, but I think we need the energy capacity. Ugh, the recharge speed's gonna suck. This might be a dangerous call, but we're gonna at least try it. I say as I sell the other one immediately. Um, let's see. We are... Mm. 
That could be a clever use. 20% bonus damage against ancient and ancient controlled units. If only I was doing rips right now, jeez. And we're just gonna sell the nanofibers. They're gone. All right, we're also gonna sell probably, we don't need to sell it immediately. Ah, eh, we're doing it, okay. We're gonna hang on to the level 20, uh, just to wait until we get there. New catalyst was the tuned catalyst. Energy cores, energy cores, energy cores. Uh, do we have, no we don't, okay. All right. I also think we are going to change this mode to carefree package. That way we can recover armor. I'm seeing a lot of times that we are losing armor in the midst of things. And because it's been requested, I'll change close call. I wonder if we should just do exit strategy with our current build and strategy as a whole. Um, so we'll do that. Neat. Swap nano for shield. Wait, did I miss something? Did I miss something? If it did, I'm sure somebody will tell me. Magnetic repulsor deal with teleport drones? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I need to adjust my I need to adjust my devices, you're correct. Actually, let me let me do that right now. Plus my magnetic repulsor is maxed out, so um, additional charge is probably good. Energy leak could also be good. That could keep me boosting which I'm gonna need since I don't have fast recharging on my thrusters now. So this might be a better option. Um, regardless, guys, I'm gonna take a very super duper quick break. When I come back, we're gonna go to the outlaw base. Um, let me know in the chat if you want screenshots today or not. Let me know. We could just try to pursue and, and conquer this area and maybe get another item to, to talk about. Um, or we can highlight the screenshots we got from the last week. Um, we can also package that up into next week and have a, a greater highlight. So, one moment. Don't stop being awesome. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. we're back that wasn't too long was it i hope you guys got up you stretched made sure that you're doing well Whew. oh my goodness so you see where the base of soul goes okay yeah i don't see anyone who voted for screenshots so okay we'll just keep we'll just power through and um we'll take care of uh the game state i see that some people say that their uh, species uh, over on youtube says ne never that interested in screenshots i i mean I think that's totally fine. You know, you're you're entitled to that opinion. Um, we just really like highlighting the screenshots of our community. That's that's the big reason why we do that. We think some of you guys just do some pretty cool things with your screenshots, and we just want to highlight that. So, but today, today, we are focused on more gameplay. So that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully, we don't uh, die hilariously. Or no, hopefully we do die hilariously. Let's not die embarrassingly. There we go. That's what we're looking for. All right. We need another counter, a flea counter. Really? This is what you're encouraging <laughs> with the chat while uh, I'm away? No, not my, not yeah. my, well, maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. 
tactical retreat. Oh, also, I went to the wrong location. Whoops. Tactical yeah, retreat. Brave, brave Sir Robin counter. That's right. The, the Sir Robin <laughs> counter. Just call it the Sir Robin counter. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why not die embarrassingly hilariously or die with honor? I could die with honor. But, yeah. Yeah, that HRA, I mean, it, it definitely stretched out a bit longer than I would have liked it to, but um, I think what was nice about that, though, and showcasing the raw experience of it lasting too long, you know, I was able to dive in, look at my current state, my ship. I could say, hey, maybe I need to swap out these weapons. I could swap out these devices. I could add more consumables. Like, I still had options to recover without the game forcing itself down upon me and just, like, crushing me to bits, right? So um, it was just a matter of me optimizing my strategy. And that's the same way that everyone out there can also approach it. So I am really thankful that we are highlighting the game in a, its rawest format, you know, in, in everything thereof in these Friday streams for you all to see. So you know exactly the type of experiences that can happen to you. And I hope, I sincerely hope that as you are watching that, that inside your own brains, those of you veterans out there or even newcomers, you're like, well, why doesn't he use this? Shouldn't he be using that? Because that is exactly what we want to encourage with this itemization. We want you to be thinking on new ways to enter into the game space and uh, come up with something uh, very effective. So if that was you, if you were watching that and you were just like, he needs to do this, that's great. That's a fantastic thing. So glad hopefully hopefully we've had a, a several of you out there who were with that exact same mindset but now i hope to be on the opposite end of that and show you a trick or two to be inspired by to encourage a new play style that maybe you didn't think of even though you're gonna get mostly the same of what we've been doing the rest of the stream but i digress I don't want to be in range of a Tormentor. Tormentors are mean. It's missile barraging foes. But if we get close enough to him, he's not going to be able to fire his missiles as effectively. Yeah! That was noise. Too far away. Where's that teleporter drone? I know there was a teleporter drone last time. He must have Sir Robin as well. He's like, oh, that guy's gonna come back. I'm out of here. The destroyer is gonna be a problem. At least it doesn't regenerate. Am I right? Those are on the other side of the building, aren't they? I can see that one. There we go. One down! Oh, yeah. This is feeling so much better. Look at that damage. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice line, Adam. That was that was perfect. Great way to explain the scout in a nutshell. Whew. Yeah, it's very likely we'll be swapping ships uh, next stream. So you guys are aware. We do want to rotate different ship styles and uh, so you guys can see what those opportunities look like anyway. So uh, let's do this again. This strategy seemed to work out pretty well last time, even though I missed the alt usage. Large nanobots. Okay. Now with a lot of those guys out of the way, let's start picking apart the defenses. Of course, a bomb thrower. Why are you-
are you in range? Oof. Okay, not time to puzzle solve. Handled very well. Let's try that again. Here we go. Multi cell. Hey, that's a fun one. Except I think we've already seen that one too. Dang it. Well, I'll take it at least to talk about. Genesis barrier. Okay, good. We're seeing some. We're seeing some stuff. We're seeing some stuff. Multi cell is the storm chaser. We got the Genesis barrier. This is the autonomous set. We got two autonomous. That's nice. The repair bay and the Genesis barrier. After shield. After shutdown. Oh, whoop whoop whoop. What are we doing, mouse? Stop it. Oh, something's stuck in my mouse wheel. Uh, after shutdown duration, instantly restore shield to full capacity. A very, very delightful trait. Uh, <clears throat> but it does have a problem of its recharge speed. So you have to be uh, mindful of that. Let's try to get this bomb thrower. Let's see. I'm just going to work our way through this. And if you guys do have more questions, feel free to ask them, because I do want to have at least one more round of answering questions before the stream ends, okay? So we are... This is not just gameplay only at the end of the stream. I want to highlight as much as possible. Equalizer, okay, all right, all right. Got the bomb thrower next. Should knock out its shield. There we go. Oh, come on, do it again. There we go. Level 19. That's also exciting to see. Good, good, good. Then no more. Ah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, that's true. That is a good point. Which means we've caught up. Good sign. There's nice balance now. Let's, let's not spoil it. <laughs> Fair. Woo. So, probably grab this. All right, let's see. Are you coming in here? Yeah. Bonk, crash, bonk. Correct. Tuned multi cell that we can use right now. I mean, unfortunately, the multi cell doesn't have good weapon generation, but shields and boost that could could prove useful. That could prove useful. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's just see. Let's just see if it does the trick for us as we fly over to, <laughs> to the destroyer. Oh gosh. Quite see it. Ah, my gosh, I'm on the wrong side. There we go. 
to see you though. Ah, it's a bomb thrower again. Ah. We'll do this little trick to knock out its shield again. A high proc chance of this weapon. Shouldn't take too long to knock out the shield, or we'll just drain the shield by shooting them down. That's fine too. There's so many better ways to, to take them out, but okay. Scatter gun, okay. You're getting close. Boop, donk. Oh, ow. How are they hitting me? Using Chico's, I see. All right. I see how it is. Yeah, I think the um, the good news from our magnetic repulsor being able to loop in so much energy from those um, energy drops, that's giving us Really, the tools that we need... Uh oh shoot, I think I just launched fighters. Crap! Um, flew too close to the hangar. It's giving us the tools that we need in order to overcome this situation pretty well. So even though the particular energy core is not that great with its weapon regeneration, we seem to be in an okay spot regardless. There's one more bomb thrower. There we go. Charge compensator, okay. So I think we need to go up to the top. Ah, okay. We probably need to try to take him out. I don't I don't like it. It's gonna take a little bit of work. I think that's what we're gonna need to do. When we got something in that pile that I can show you all. That's something completely new. So if not, cheesing it in. I'm not seeing it. Oh gosh, dang it. Unfortunate. All right. Well. Let's go ahead and, oh, that's, there's a shield generator there. Let's grab this two. RNG has not been kind on us today. So we're gonna fly over to Smuggler's Back Door in these last seven minutes of the stream. Let's go ahead and answer some more questions. Um, and I'm gonna generate a new item to look at. Uh, just so that you all kind of know what else is going on in the game. So we've yeah. got the one question from okay. Pesky, and it's a bit of a, a bit of a law question actually. Okay. Um, he's just making inquiries. Uh, so Okar ships used to attack colonial ships in Everspace One. Um, assuming Everspace Two takes place in the same universe as Everspace One, why does the Okar not attack and sometimes even cooperates on some occasions with colonial? Uh, and this is specifically for Everspace 1, right? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. Everspace 1 leading into Everspace 2. Yeah, so there's a there's a lot of reasons, actually. So, um, so the first thing to note is that G and B are not associated with the Colonials, even though they technically are the remnants of. And so the Okar and G and B, they don't really fight. They are not supposed to fight. Uh, in fact, the Okar are kind of protecting the territories um, that you're flying through in the DMZ in Everspace One, and GMB don't have any problems with that. The Colonials themselves, regarding those warships, are not fighting the Okar because of a particular pact that's made with a admiral of the fleet 
who has struck a deal to make the Okar think he has a strong allegiance to eradicating the clone threat that could jeopardize the DMZ and the Okar thereof, which is completely falsified. It is actually to save his own skin. These are all details that you learn if you can finish getting to Sector 7 in Aerospace 1. And when you complete the main story, you'll even notice that those colonial warships, uh, they don't really uh, show up anymore because there's no reason for them to. <clears throat> so, yeah, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and save this right now. That way um, I'm not going to uh, have what I cheat into the game in the game. So give me one second. I want to I want to highlight a couple more quick items. So uh, just because we didn't get them to show up doesn't mean I'm not going to show them. So give me one moment. We're going to make some stuff happen. Like magic. <laughs> Probably. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll be back in just one moment, I promise. Almost done. And we're back. So let's talk a little bit more about a particular set that we didn't get dropping um, specifically from Kite Nebula. That's the one I want to focus on because you guys haven't seen it at all yet. We had one piece that dropped, which was the... Where, where is it at? Oh yeah, the hazard plating, the Blightmonger hazard plating grants immunity to radiation when armor is up. Let's talk about the other components of the Blightmonger set. We have the hazard shield. This grants immunity to corrosion while the shield is up. So we have immunity to radiation. We have immunity to corrosion, noise. Quite, quite a noise benefit, if I do say so myself. In regards to how well the shield is, it's, uh, you know, it's more equivalent to like a, a smaller capacity shield. Um, I say that when we're looking at a shield ST, but this is a higher level. Um, but generally speaking, it recharges kind of sucky, but you can see that it's recharged delay, shutdown duration and capacity are all just, uh, just a little bit better, um, generally speaking. But its main ability is the granting immunity to corrosion. If you were to compare this directly with other shields, its stats are technically worse. The main benefit of this is that you have immunity to corrosion. The next one is this Blightmonger containment unit. There's nothing special about it other than the fact that it's taking a cargo slot, which may or may not be relevant to other set item bonuses that you're trying to utilize. This guy is just in the set in order to supply those Blightmonger benefits. Otherwise, it's a lesser version of a standard cargo unit. It's a lesser version of a cargo unit. Last but not least, a thermogun? Uh, you mean there's more than one type of thermogun now? There's only been one thermogun in the entire game up to this very point. This is the deteriorator, this thermogun, is uh, kind of not as good as the other one, straight up. Except if you're using a critical hit build, you are going to dish out so much more damage when it comes to corrosion. This special trait is critical hits apply their damage as corrosion for two seconds. Critical hits apply their damage as corrosion for two seconds. Damage, this thing is mean, especially when you start taking into consideration what the Blightmonger set does. Let's have a look at it with a little bit clearer eyesight. This set benefit at two, enemies take 20% increased corrosion damage. Oh, that's probably beneficial alongside the Deteriorator. Each stack of corrosion on an enemy grants you 1% armor regeneration per second. 
oh my gosh, suddenly the hazard plating that isn't actually nearly as good as other platings starting to get immediately better. And last but not least, 10% chance for each hit to deal its damage as area damage in a 20, 200 meter radius. So all of that delicious corrosion damage that you've stacked up and are dishing out is now going to splash. And it's going to be doing so at a much greater percentage than normal because of those added benefits. I just read the wrong thing. Let me try that again. Targets affected by corrosion take 50% increased damage from your secondary weapons. That's what I meant to read. Wow. <laughs> Targets affected by corrosion take 50% increased damage from your secondary weapon. So if you're stacking any type of corrosion at all, which you're going to be with this particular set, all of a sudden your secondary weapons are going to be lethal. Guys, that's the end of the stream. I would love to answer more questions, but I actually have to go. I am in charge of picking up my kids from school today and it's uh, time for me to fly. I did make a promise though. So um, we're gonna do one after stream shenanigan thing and then I seriously have to go. But you guys have been awesome. I've been Eric, your community ambassador for Rockfish Games. This has been Gary on the comms. Bye, oh, Gary. Bye, Gary. Beautiful. Don't stop being awesome. And we will catch you in the stream next week when we'll probably have things to show and talk about. Woo! I'm excited. Toodles! Okay, I said I was gonna do this. I don't have a lot of time, so let's just get right to it. Shenanigans. Shenanigans, guys. Anybody who's sticking around? <clears throat> this is the part where I love on you guys a little bit more. <clears throat> All right, here we go. fantastic weekend. I'm going to go pick up my children and make fun of them or something. It's going to be great. <laughs>